So we'll see how that goes. And now I can get the disc out. Just like so. Sweet, so I got the diff out, looking really healthy, bearings are good and all that, good stuff. And I'm going to be welding the actual spider gears together. That's how you weld the diff, that is how you actually can turn, because these gears can actually spin, and the axles can spin at different speeds. But when you weld it, the axles spin at the same speed, and that's what is great for drifting, not good for turning or anything else really. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm going to shove axles in the ends to make sure everything's in line and then I'm gonna weld her up. So here's my diff, I got it right here and then I removed two axles that I broke and just literally took the, the shafts out and now all I have is the splines which is exactly what I need because that's going to align the actual spider gears because they can move in there. It's important you do that or it won't work. So what I did was I took the pins out of these little sleeves these are really annoying for removing them. So now, without them, I can just kind of like bop them in there, put them on each end, and then I can tack it, and then weld it, and I'd honestly just leave them right in there in the entire welding process. So I brake cleaned it out, and I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes, let this guy dry, and then I'm gonna weld her up. Sweet, so I got my axle in the right side, and my axle in the left side, and I'm going to weld this gear first because gravity is holding it into the seat of the diff so i'm gonna weld two corners and maybe two here so maybe four and then i'm gonna flip it and then do these ones and let gravity do its thing because you can see that that's just moving a little bit it probably would have been fine if i just gobbed it all but i think this is the best way to do it so i'm going to let this one sit where it needs to weld 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 and then i'm gonna flip it and do the same thing and then spin it and do the same thing. So I've got quite a bit of welding to do and it's important to make sure you're lifting the mask once a while because they do go on fire. So you gotta be careful and I'm definitely gonna be careful. And I say that because I have had one catch on fire before. I'm just gonna give her, give her a shot right now, do, do some tacks and then make sure nothing's on fire. You gotta make sure that you're really penetrating the steel with a bunch of heat and obviously a bunch of fill. But the biggest thing is you gotta make that thing hot. It's very thick metal. You gotta get into the deep spots where it wouldn't be if it wasn't really hot. So you gotta really heat it up and make sure you get that penetration. I'm just really sitting in one spot and getting the heat into this piece here. And the biggest thing is, is the initial first welds is where you're getting the heat into the metal. All right, so now I'm going to turn it and then tack the other two corners. Now I'm gonna weld the case to the gear on this side too, and then I'm gonna flip it. And then weld the other side. Make sure the gear's in a good spot, and then weld away. And now I'm gonna spin it around. Do the same thing, weld the corners. Now I'm gonna weld the gear to the case again.
and then now I'm going to spin around and weld it to the case one more time for the very last tack. So then I can remove the axles after I'm done this tack here. And out she comes. Obviously everything is really hot. So now I've got to weld a little bit more. I need to weld these gears to the case. do time lapse of the rest basically I'm just gonna fill in here fill in here fill in here like the gears don't move anymore so you can weld them right to the case that is definitely the strongest spot to go to rather than just the gears because they it could rattle itself and all that so I like welding the corners together and then welding the gears to the case top that thing's not going anywhere so it needs to cool down slow now so she's obviously real hot so I'll just carry on with this tomorrow and I'll be able to throw it back into the tranny I just shoved my axles in just to make sure everything is still square and, and true and as you can see they just slide in real nice and easy so that's exactly what I wanted and this thing's ready to go I just got to have it cool down now what I got to